Hey everyone, this is your girl, Ayla Bell, and today I am unboxing my new Hollyland Lark M2s. I have some interesting things coming up. I can't wait to share it with you all, but I wanted to make sure that my audio is on point. Right now, I'm in a bit of a controlled environment and I'm filming just directly off of my iPhone 15 Pro. So this is a bit of a test just to see how the audio is directly off the iPhone 15 Pro. I have yet to film anything on the iPhone 15 Pro for my YouTube, so this is also a bit of a test in general. But first, let's, yeah, unbox this. Now, I do still have my Sony ZV-E1. I do plan to be using that in terms of doing filming and stuff, but for this, Products, I just went straight with the USB-C recording. I didn't bother getting a camera adapter for it as well. I figured I'll probably rec record separate audio directly to my iPhone, just in like the microphone app. And that's kind of something that I'm curious to see. A lot of people will film directly on the iPhone and bake the audio in. And I am not going to be doing that. I will likely film on the camera and bake audio into the phone. So I have a completely separate audio, almost like internal recording, but obviously not. So here it's just talking that it's button sized, advanced ENC, to be honest, I'm not quite aware of that just yet. Hi-Fi sound, app control, and plug and play. Uh, this all sounds awesome. <laughs> oh, I see. So right away I get a little package. We are here for you, let's get in touch. This is basically just customer support and something I am excited about, something I have seen in other online reviews is these stickers. I'm curious to see how well they stick um, because I definitely want to hide the logo that I'm aware is on the product. Comes in here almost like it's a, like Apple earbuds or something. Beautiful little protection. Awesome little case here. And wow, this is super cool already. I'll take off this protective film on the inside. I've got this awesome little thing. You can even see the battery indicator level. I guess once I remove that, that's how it knows. Probably magnets. And wow, so already I've got one of these little things and it's just solely magnet done. Now this is a bit of a thickish sweater, but it shouldn't give an issue. And you can see how small and kind of inconspicuous this already is. And then throw on top of that a nice like black sticker to cover, you would never know. I'll just go ahead and put this on right away. And that was nothing super easy to line up just on the points of the indicator light there. A little protective film on there that actually opens up the audio. Now, I don't know if it will allow me to change the audio input mid recording. So I might pause the recording for a second and try plugging this in so we can do a bit of a test. So this is now testing out the Hollyland Mark two button i've got it lapeled onto my shirt right here and it should be pretty easy to hear overall uh it, it was super easy to pair it did need to be connected in order to pair um but honestly super easy i know if i click the side now that the sensor has gone green, that indicates to me that it is just isolating my voice. If I have other noise or stuff going on, then it will just isolate the voice. So it might sound a little robotic right now, but this is with the voice isolation off and you should just be able to hear what is going on around me. Honestly, I'm pretty pumped for this. I'm gonna be in situations where things can get windy, maybe a little hectic, and myself and other subjects might be 
in varying proximity to the camera, but it would still be nice to hear each other clearly in the visuals, so that way we know exactly what's going on. And just to be sure I'm doing this correctly, this is testing, testing audio, strictly iPhone 15 Pro at about arm's length, testing, testing, iPhone 15 Pro at about arm's length. Testing, testing, this is with the Hollyland Mark II audio. Testing, testing, Hollyland Mar Lark M2 audio. Now I don't know how well the phone will be picking up the fact that I have a heater running in the background, that just kicked in. So I'm gonna try the voice isolation here. But just to test, this is my voice unisolated. And this is now my voice isolated. I'll take a step towards the heater and see if that does anything. And this is my voice unisolated with the heater running. And this is now my voice isolated with the heater running. I'm really curious to see what these are gonna be like what the audio is like. Ultimately, I just want to make sure that I am ticking the boxes necessary, that I'm not just upgrading my camera, I am upgrading my audio at the same time, because if I'm going to be doing more videos in the field uh, without trying to give too much away right away, then I need to make sure that my audio will be able to hold up as well as the image. Because if you guys can't hear me clearly, it will be a lot more unbearable than just trying to f watch something nice. Surely there is more under here. Oh wow, there was the little insert. Under that came this lovely little package. So this is a really good quality, almost like vinyl sort of packaging. And inside comes all the goodies. So I've got two wind muffs here, dead cats. Uh, it looks like a set of magnet clips. Oh sweet, yeah, this will be great. Instead of using the magnet to adhere, I can use a little clip if I wanted to. These are necklace cords in case it's easier to use a necklace. Maybe let's say I'm in a swimsuit or something. Uh, either way, there should still be ways to lapel, but maybe this sometimes is the easier way. I've got my recharge cable here, and then I'll try out one of these uh, dead cat attachments just to see what that is like. Hmm, it's just like it's a, a little pocket or something. This is surprisingly tricky, uh, trying to get these little dead cats on. My goodness. Okay, so I finally got this dead cat on. That was actually a lot trickier than I expected it to be. Well, at the end of the day, that was what that was. It is a bit challenging inherently to try and get the wind muffs over these little buttons. It doesn't help that these are circular and kind of small and uh, the elastic in the pocket inside the dead cat is also very shallow. Ultimately, uh, I do think that this will be excellent for what I need it for. Um, I'll be finding out with you guys while I'm editing what I think of this when I put this together. So I'm just cutting in here while editing and all in all, I feel really good with what the Lark M2s are gonna be able to do for me out in the field, as I've been saying. And I'm pretty impressed with the iPhone camera, especially using the rear cameras, which is what I was doing. This will be another bit of a test for me because I'm using the front camera. But uh, yeah, all in all, I'm feeling pretty good about everything that came out. And it was just definitely very interesting to see the difference between the iPhone standard, the Lark M2 audio quality, as well as the Rode video goes. At the end of the day, for a small creator like myself, this is pretty cool stuff to work with. So just for your information, I have just switched to the Sony ZV-E1 and I've got the Rode Video Go on there. I'm gonna try and connect the transmitter to the iPhone and record directly into voice memo. Uh, that should hopefully take a lot less battery to record, but I'm, I haven't seen anyone do this exactly yet, but I think I would like to do that rather than um, do audio on what I was trying to say here is I'd much rather record with the Lark M2 audio straight into voice memos on my phone. So that way I have a separate audio that I can just put in to my editing rather than have to film 
through the phone camera to keep the Lark M2 audio if I'm choosing to film with the Sony ZV-E1 and just want a backup audio track. So just pulling this directly out of the case, it immediately was trying to connect to the transmitter. I can see that it's connected. I just switched to the uh, green to confirm that it is on there and I can see the one button is green while the other one's flashing blue. So I am confirmed that it is connected and that this one is the second transmitter. Uh, I will turn that off again. But yeah, I'm curious to see if I can get the voice memo to work with this. So something else that is interesting about these Holy Land Lark M2s is that if I go into the camera of my phone and I'm on video, I can just double click and now it's recording me. I am curious if this will work in voice memo because again, I would love to be re able to record the audio from these without necessarily having to film with this because I would like to film with that not always necessarily have to mic up, but mic up here. That way, if myself and a subject are running around in varying arrays, I'm catching my audio clearly. Now I'm gonna try the double click and we'll see if it triggers a start here. Interestingly, it's just triggering the volume up button. So I guess the double click is connected to the volume up. This should be a good way to test. I'll hold this here and I'll put the transmitter down in this corner. Click by the phone, not that big. Click by the transmitter, huge spikes. So the audio is definitely coming through from the transmitter into the voice app. So that is a huge confirmation for me. I am grateful for that. So that way, I can bake audio just straight into my phone and use that as a separate audio track to work with the camera. God forbid the camera audio is crappy, windy, just not ideal. I at least have another option to back it up with and I don't have to worry about running two cameras. So yeah, two interesting tests there with the voice memos. I can't jumpstart recording the same way uh, on voice memos as you can with the camera, but you can use these to record directly into voice memos. So that way I can just stick that thing in my pocket, not think about it, grab my audio while I'm filming on the camera. Overall, be curious to know what you guys think of this product and the audio that comes through the video here, because even if this isn't perfect, it's going to have to do, and it's gonna be better than nothing especially with varying proximity of subject matter and uh, potentially windy scenarios. I'm sure you'll see soon enough what I mean by that. But yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on all of this and uh, let me know if the voice memo information was helpful for you because it's just something I hadn't seen on any other video reviewing it yet. And I know for me, it's super helpful to know that, sure, I can have my, uh, road video go mic attachment on the camera but i can use these as a backup and bake audio directly into my voice memos so that way i have backup audio tracks to count on thank you very much for watching and following along as always until next time guys 